Hello and thank you for coming to the tutorial on how to make your very own superhero goggles. So first what you need is paper, recycled paper egg carton. Um, as you can see here, I have kind of already cut mine up. So you need to be able to cut this up easily. You're probably going to have to have an adult help you. It, it is easy, easier for adults to do this than it is for kids. Um, you're gonna need some paint. I've got a little bit of paint here. Tempera paint works great because it's very washable. Um, poster paint um, basically is, is tempera or craft paint. Um, that's the kind of stuff that is will wash out, won't get into clothes if little kids um, get it all over themselves. Need yourself a paintbrush and you need a hole punch and then something to tie the goggles onto your head or put it around your ears. So I'm going to use some pipe cleaners. So for this, so you want to flip these over and then you want to find um, a good kind of bridge here. So this right here is what I mean by it's a good bridge, kind of like reminds you of what goggles or what um, eyeglasses would have here. You can do it here this way too because this has a bridge down here. It's really kind of up to you. Any of them will work, but you just want to get two of them connected together. So you want to take your scissors and again, you're going to need to have an adult help you with this but it's easier to turn these over and cut from this angle, like so. I like to just cut right down the middle there, turn it around, right down the middle there, and now I've created my goggles here. So then what I like to do is kind of round it out a little bit, make it a little bit flatter, so you don't have those in the way. So this right here part will probably go along the nose so you can round that out a little bit more if you want. Um, later on, if you want to put a piece of foam or um, felt there so it's not so rough on the nose. Um, these are obviously just for play. They're not going to probably fit anybody too well here. So the other part of it, you need to be able to see out of your goggles. So we want to cut this part out here. You can use an X-Acto knife, but again, must have parental supervision um, as those knives are sharp. Um, you could also just poke a hole right through and just kind of cut around the top. Probably easier to do it with a pair of a, a, a pair of scissors that are a little bit sharper on the end, or an X-Acto knife. And again, you want to make sure that you're careful with that. You, even as an adult, you can hurt yourself. There we go. So there's one. So you want to repeat the same thing over on the other side. You just want a little hole there because that's kind of going to be your little area where you can see out. So after you have got your two holes done here, you want to go ahead and make sure you put some holes on the side because once you've started painting it or coloring it, uh, it might rip once you do that. So you can take yourself a good pair of hole punch and get yourself a hole and you don't want to go too far too far in, but you don't want to go too close to the edge either. You kind of want to go somewhere in the middle. Probably a little bit too close, but that's okay. I'm going to try to make them a little bit even. So the next step after you've cut out your two holes here and then you've punched your holes here, do you want to go ahead and color your goggles? You can, like I said, you can use paint. If you don't want to get the paint out, you can absolutely use um, markers for this process too. So go ahead and paint, decorate however you want to decorate them and we'll come back. Once you have your holes cut out here and your holes punched here and that you have painted or decorated your goggles, then you can finish them up. So in order to have them stay on your face, you need to have some either some string some elastic string or what might be a little bit easier is to take some um, pipe cleaners like this, fold it in half, and then put one end in here and just kind of twist it around. And then the other end you can curl like this, just like your like a pair of glasses like it's going to fit on your ears. So you can do it that way. Um, or again, you can put an elastic string on it, um, or they can just be for show as well. 
And then the last thing that you can do, if you do want to put some sort of lenses inside of there, you could use aluminum foil and have kind of get this reflective appearance to them. Or you can use something like this. This is like a, a cellophane um, colored paper or a colored cellophane, sorry. And you can cut it up and then put it on the inside to make it look like it's um, a lens, like a special superhero uh, lenses. So there's a couple different ways that you can finish this up, but how you do it is up to you.